Hello. I remember my first year at Ashbury, like the back of my hand. And I remember when I finished it, I was at a very low point in my life where my grandfather had just passed away and I was pretty sad about that. But still, I, I have to give myself a little bit of credit. I did do some sports which I enjoyed, but mostly it was just so I could graduate and get my co-curricular credits. But I remember one day when I was playing video games in my house, which I had done all summer, where, which were wasting my time and got me very angry just for a bit of short-term joy if I want. I remember watching this documentary called The Last Dance. I'm sure many of you have heard of it. I remember watch, watching this and seeing Michael Jordan, who I consider the greatest athlete of all time, work day and night to be the best version of himself. And then in there, I thought to myself, what if I applied this kind of dedication to my life? What if I tried to be the best version of myself? And ever since then, I've been trying in athletics to be as good as I can be every single day. And this is one of the things that I believe is, really, is a really great quality in athletes, that all, that all athletes want to be the best versions of themselves. And I thought to myself, what if I could apply this knowledge and this skill to all other processes in my life? An example of this could be in school, where, in, where I used to, if I'm honest, go and finish assignments a couple days before they were due. But now I've tried my very hardest uh, right when I get them to complete them on time and to make sure I space it out so I can make the best version of my work possible. I feel that everybody can incorporate this into their daily life as well. If you always just try and be better than the day you were before, then you can end up achieving things you didn't even believe you could. One thing that I don't want you to take away from this is that, oh, I don't have time. Because time is one of the things that kills your motivation and your discipline towards a goal. I remember once thinking to myself, ah, I'll just skip this workout. I'll skip this study session. It won't really matter. Today I think I deserve a rest. But in reality, all this did was hurt my progress in the long run. And once you think to yourself, what does this really do for me? If this is a really important goal, should I even be skipping it in the first place? Shouldn't it be my priority? And I believe that if you think this, if you think this way, that you'll be able to achieve way more than you've already done. And if there's anything you can take away from this speech today, is that you should, you should follow what you want to do in life, but always work one day at a time to be better and better than you were the day before. Thank you.